Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hope you've had a great week. Um, ready for the weekend here. We got seven matchups on this NBA slate. Nothing too crazy, but a lot of matchups I like here. Before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. Support the channel. Go ahead and join the Patreon. We just hit 50 members on the Patreon. Definitely want to hop in there, get access to the Discord. The Discord's been awesome. The community's been great and um, great vibes and um, picking up a lot of wins. It's been awesome. And uh, go ahead and join. Link in the description, $5.50 a month. It's just a no-brainer. You're going to be joining a cool community and supporting a great channel. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into these matchups here. First matchup, we have the Toronto Raptors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Toronto 20 and 32, 21 and 31 against the spread. Cleveland 19 and 32, 21 and 30 against the spread. Toronto opening up as one and a half point favorites with the over under at 216 and a half. Last 10 games for Toronto, three and seven in their last 10. Cleveland four and six in their last 10. Last time these teams played, you know, Cleveland picking up a 116 to 105 win over the Raptors. Raptors just aren't the same team here. Um, playing horribly. You know, bad, I mean, lot, bad loss to the Bulls, to the Lakers, to Detroit, to the Thunder. I mean, man, they've just been getting hammered. 0 and 7 against the spread on the road. 0 and 5 in their last five games against Cleveland on the road. Cleveland 5 and 0 against the spread at home against Toronto. Um Cleveland, I mean not the best team out here, but um Toronto, you know, battling a bunch of injuries. Kyle Lowry, you know, questionable. Van Vliet is out for Saturday's game. Rodney Hood questionable. I mean, a lot of question marks on this Toronto team here. Um I don't love this matchup, but um going to take Cleveland plus the points here just Toronto not beating anybody this season and um you know Cleveland's not the best team either but given the free points with Cleveland plus one and a half you know they won the last matchup we'll see what happens here gonna roll Cleveland plus one and a half we're gonna take the under 216 and a half next matchup we had the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Brooklyn Nets Lakers 32 and 30 or 32 and 20 25 and 27 against the spread the Nets 36 and 16 25 and 27 against the spread Lakers opening up as or I'm sorry Nets are opening up as 12 point favorites with the over under at 234 last 10 games for the Lakers 4 and 6 in their last 10 Brooklyn 8 and 2 in their last 10 um, you know James Harden is still out but it looks like KD's back he'll be man- they'll be managing his minutes but um, you know KD's back um Aldridge, Griffin, Kyrie. I mean, this team's so stacked. Um, this is tough. You know, a tough game here. You know, Brooklyn. You know, nine and zero at home right now. You know, Lakers just aren't the same team without LeBron. They did get Drummond back, and Drummond looked pretty decent. But um, until they get LeBron back, it's not. It's gonna be hard to pick the Lakers here. The twelve point spread is pretty high. Um, you know, they covered the spread last night against the against the Heat. Nine point spread. You know, they covered it, but um. Got to roll with Brooklyn here. All the stars, you know, look for them to just stomp on this Lakers team. And um, we're going to take the over 234. Next matchup, we had the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. 76ers, 35 and 16, 28, 20 and 3 against the spread. The Thunder, 20 and 32, 24, 27 and 1 against the spread. Philly opening up as 8.5 point favorites with the over under at 216 and a half. Last 10 games for Philly, 7 and 3 in their last 10. OKC 2 and 8 in their last 10. Um, Philly is on a back to back here, so we'll see if they hold out uh, Embiid, which I'm guessing they probably might, honestly, for you know, for back to backs. Uh, we'll see. They might hold some other people out. We will have to see. Um, so be sure to check on that line here. You know, head to head, OKC 8 and 2 in their last 10 against philly it's kind of crazy but um this is a different philly team a different okc team as well um gonna roll with philly minus eight and a half surely they'll have at least tobias harris and ben simmons playing tomorrow or at least one of them but um 
they just have more talent. We're going to take the talent of the team over a very young roster with kind of no direction. We're going to go with the Philly minus 8.5, and, and we're going to take the over to 16.5. Next matchup, we have the Sacramento Kings versus the Utah Jazz. Kings 22-30, and 23-29 and 29 against the spread. The Jazz 39-13, and 32-19-1 and one against the spread. Jazz opening up his favorites at minus 12.5 with the over-under at 231. Last 10 games for Sacramento, 5-5 five and five in their last 10. Utah, 8-2 and two in their last 10. You know, Sacramento riding a five-game losing streak right now, playing very badly. Um, you know, Utah coming off a dominant win over Portland in the last matchup. Um, you know, Sacramento 0-5 in their last five games. 1-4 against the spread against Utah here. This is just simple for me. We're rolling with Utah against a very bad Sacramento Kings team. Going to take the Jazz, minus 12 and a half. Should be a slaughter, and we're going to go with the over 231. Next matchup, we have the Detroit Pistons versus the Portland Trailblazers. Detroit, 16 and 36, 27, 22 and 3 against the spread. The Blazers, 30 and 21, 25 and 26 against the spread. Blazers opening up as 11 and a half point favorites with the over under at 224 and a half. Last 10 games for Detroit, 4 and 6 in their last 10. Portland, 5 and 5 in their last 10. You know, last time these teams played, Portland picking up a 124 to 101 win over Detroit. Detroit just, you know, 1 and 4 in their last 5 meetings with Portland. Um, 2 and 10 on the road against Portland here. Portland 10 and 2 at home against Detroit. Love Portland in this matchup. Should be another dominant win for the Blazers here. We're going to roll with the Blazers minus 11 and a half, and we're going to go with the over 224 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Houston Rockets versus the Golden State Warriors. Houston 14 and 37, 17 and 34 against the spread. The Warriors 24 and 27, 23 and 28 against the spread. Warriors opening up as nine point favorites with the over under at 228. Last 10 games for Houston, 3-7 and seven in their last 10. Golden State, 3-7 and seven in their last 10 as well. Um, this is a pretty easy matchup for me. I mean, staying away from this Rockets team. Don't want any part of them. We're going to go with the Warriors. You know, as long as they have Steph back playing, you know, they're starting five. They're starting five is pretty solid. You know, they just aren't getting the wins. But um, against this beat-up, very bad Rockets team. Big number, but I like the Warriors minus nine here. We're going to go with the over 228. Last matchup on the slate, we have the Washington Wizards versus the Phoenix Suns. Washington 18 and 32, 25 and 25 against the spread. Phoenix 36 and 15, 33 and 18 against the spread. Phoenix opening up as 11 and a half point favorites with the over under at 228 and a half. Last 10 games for Washington, three and seven in their last 10. Phoenix 8 and 2 in their last 10. Um, you know, we'll see if Bradley Beal plays on Saturday here. Um, crazy though. Head to head, Washington 8 and 2 in their last 10 games. That's kind of crazy, but um, you know, I'm not really buying into that stat here. Going with the Suns minus 11 and a half against a very bad Wizards team. A lot of high spreads here, but um, it just could be one of those days where these teams just get blown out. Just don't trust the Wizards. Um, otherwise you're going to be just sweating the whole time, hoping they cover. I'd, I like the Phoenix match 11 and a half, and we're going to go with the over 228 and a half. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, go ahead and join the Patreon. Don't want to miss out. Super awesome. And, uh, good luck with your guys' picks and, uh, parlays on Saturday. And I got to mention, I didn't mention it in the beginning, but I will be live streaming 1030 Eastern Saturday morning. Definitely want to be a part of that. Going to be building the parlays and building everything. So go ahead and do that. And um, I'll see you guys on Saturday.